Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an animation using the rig we've created in the previous tutorials. First of all I'm going to remove the pose uh, from the rig and to do that go into the pose menu, clear transform, uh, before you do that select all the bones, okay, uh, select all is A and it toggles between selecting none and selecting all. Then go into the pose menu, clear transform, location and pose, clear transform, rotation. Okay, uh, I'm going to use um, the root bone to move my figure and I'm going to use the grid lines you might not be able to see but I'm sort of two squares up I'm going to use that as the sort of ground level and three squares to the right and I'm going to jump three squares to the left okay so uh, to animate go to the frame make the change insert the keyframe that's my little rhyme so I go to frame one I'm already in frame one I make the change which is to pose the figure so I'm going to select the backbone G to grab uh, bends the knees ready for my jump uh, and I'm going to do R to rotate just bend him forward a bit I think I'll rotate the head just a little bit rotate the head just a little bit uh, now I want to raise the arms uh, oh, just move the arms forward so pose with the lower arm G to grab uh, just out in front, about there will do. Now uh, it's easy enough just to grab the other arm and pose it but you can uh, copy the pose of the one arm to the other. To do that you must select both arm bones so I'm holding down shift to select both arm bones and then in the pose menu you see copy pose, paste pose and paste x flip pose. I copy there, you must select both uh, bones of the other arm, so I'm holding down shift, select both bones, back into the pose menu, paste X flipped, and there is arms out to balance him. Okay, I think he's posed. Now, uh, my rhyme, um, go to frame, make change, insert keyframes. You have to add another uh, element to that rhyme, and you have to select all the bones before you insert the keyframe. So the A selects all, so I'm pressing the uh, A. Now I can insert keyframes, so insert and I want location and rotation. So I insert the keyframe at frame one. Okay, uh, I'm gonna reduce the total length of the animation to 50 frames. To do a jump it takes a couple of seconds, so it's about 50 frames. Uh, go to frame and I'm going to go to frame 20 make the change uh, I'm going to grab the root bone not move it halfway found uh, about a quarter of the way is about right grab the backbone launch him into the air uh, I want to I'll move the neck back a little bit, a bit of rotation there, just a little bit, and rotate the head just a little bit. And I want the arms to go up above his head, so if I grab the lower arm, that's fine. And I'll copy that pose over. So if I shift and select both bones, pose, copy pose, select both bones of the other arm, and into the pose menu, paste X flipped. Okay, go to the frame, make the change, select all bones, A to select all bones, and insert keyframes. Now, if you want it to work in keyframes, select available. If you select location rotation, it won't work. Okay, um, does it work? Rewind and play.
there he is launching himself into the air let's pause that and now to get him to land uh, I'm gonna go to the frame etc uh, frame 40 make the change uh, so I'm gonna grab the root bone and go about three squares over uh, to the left grab the backbone bring him down to a landing squat grab the arm put that out in front to balance out there Copy the pose over to the other arm, pull down shift to select both bones, uh, copy pose, hold down shift, select both bones, pose, paste X flipped, and uh, rotate the neck a little bit, and rotate the head just a little bit. Okay, um, go to the frame, make the change, select all bones, and insert keyframes. And again, you have to use available. And rewind, and let's play that. And let's pause that. Okay, how can we fine tune or edit the animation that we've created? Well, um, so I want to make him jump a little bit higher. If I use uh, this key, it uh, takes you to the next keyframe. So I'm back on frame 20, and if I want him to jump a little bit higher, I can select the backbone, G to grab, and just make him jump a bit higher. Now all I have to do is insert uh, available keyframes again except for what have I forgotten to do select all the bones and that will overwrite the previous keyframes so you can fine-tune the animation that way if we rewind and play he's now jumping a little bit higher he's a little bit in uh, slow motion uh, so my keyframes are too far apart uh, and the way to fix that is to use the dope sheet and so we go into the properties, we replace the properties window with the dope sheet. And I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, now, how do you use the dope sheet? Well, this, in a very simple way, I'm going to just close that up. So, so we've got the three keyframes shown. I'm going to drag this over. And I'm going to zoom in. Uh, so that the three keyframes are spread across the window. So I'm using the wheel to mouse in, and then I'm scrolling back one more, maybe. So there are three keyframes at frame 1, frame 20, and frame 40. Uh, I can select them, uh, and G to grab, and if I just move that over, select G to grab, move that over. Uh, let's rewind and play that now. And so in that way, you can move the keyframes. Um, after that, it's just uh, back to the render window. Uh, to render the animation so back to the properties window sorry and select render and render the animation as just as you would render anything else uh, obviously the bones won't show in the render uh, that's the end of the tutorial thanks for watching um, I'll put uh, the files up on my website freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there uh, thank you and goodbye 
Okay, how can we fine tune or edit the animation that we've created? Well, um, say I want to make him jump a little bit higher. If I use uh, this key, it uh, takes you to the next keyframe. So I'm back on frame 20, and if I want him to jump a little bit higher, I can select the backbone, G to grab, and just make him jump a bit higher. Now all I have to do is insert uh, available keyframes again, except for what have I forgotten to do, select all the bones. And that will overwrite the previous keyframes, so you can fine tune the animation that way. If we rewind and play, he's now jumping a little bit higher. He's a little bit in uh, slow motion, uh, so my keyframes are too far apart. Uh, and the way to fix that is to use the dope sheet. And so we go into the properties, we replace the properties window with the dope sheet. And I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, now, how do you use the dope sheet? Well, this, in a very simple way, I'm going to just close that up. So, so we've got the three keyframes shown. I'm going to drag this over and I'm going to zoom in uh, so that the three keyframes are spread across the window. So I'm using the wheel to mouse in and then I'm scrolling back one more maybe. So there are three keyframes at frame 1, frame 20 and frame 40. Uh, I can select them uh, and G to grab and if I just move that over select G to grab move that over uh, let's rewind and play that now and so in that way you can move the keyframes um, after that it's just uh, back to the render window uh, to render the animation so back to the properties window sorry and select render and render the animation as just as you would render anything else uh, obviously the bones won't show in the render uh, that's the end of the tutorial thanks for watching um, I'll put uh, the files up on my website freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there uh, thank you and goodbye